this. I don't even want to do the voice or not. I'm not going to do it. You guys can read. What is up, everybody? If you can't tell, I am playing Undertale. Uh, so, oldie but goodie. Uh, it's been out for quite some time. There's a pretty decent fandom based on Pawn It. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Master Fox Trainer. What's up? How's it going? We don't need to re re we don't we, we don't we don't we don't need to go back over that. We don't need to go back over it. We know it's Undertale. Um, I've been gone for a little bit and. I guess you could say I'm back. Um, ignore that. Ignore that. We tried it. Uh, I I tried playing it on the hardest mode ever, and I failed. So we're gonna do the normal mode. Yay. Um, like I said, like I was saying, uh, this is Master Fox Trainer. Nice to meet you guys. If you're new to this channel, thank you for joining me. Uh, this. This let's play of Undertale, and we're gonna go with the Odie but goodie name that I like to pick for basically everything. My name is Fox. <sighs> so I have been going for a while. Um, basically, a lot of life shit's been going on. So, ooh, can I do the voices? You guys want to do the voices? I'm going to do some voices. With my deep ass voice. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hee hee hee. <laughs> I can't do fucking voices. Why'd you make me... Why'd you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. I guess little of me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! I don't know what he means. See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. So maybe, you know, I guess since I reset it, he knows that I know who he is. Little white friendless pellets. Are you ready? Move around. I don't want to... And we know how Flowey plays. Hey, buddy. You missed him. Let's try again, okay? Okay. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Friend of this pellets. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Uh, die. <laughs> uh, Mr. Flowey, how about we not die today? Yay! Bye, Flowey. What a terrible creature torturing a poor, innocent soul. Or you, my bad. Ah, uh, don't be afraid, my child. I'm Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. 
I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Now we follow Toriel. Now we follow her through the ruins. And we're gonna save right now. Cause I don't want to die. To your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in a proper in an operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. So I, I don't mean to, I, I didn't mention this before, but I actually have played Undertale myself and have gone through it, but you know, you guys have not seen me play it, and there's still some things that, you know, I, I can find out, so this will be a great experience for everybody, right? Yay! Alright. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. <laughs> I wonder if I have to flip that one. <laughs> oh, splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Okay, Torio. Call this one the goat mom. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You encountered a dummy. Dummy. Let's talk to the dummy. You talk to the dummy. Dot, dot, dot. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Choriel seems happy with you. You won! You gave zero XP and zero gold. Ah, uh, very good! You are very good! There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Ooh, frog it attacks me. Let's compliment the motherfucker. Froggit didn't understand what you, what was said, what you said, but was flattered anyway. Aww. Oh, he got the mom eyes. She, look at him. Look at that. She gave him the mom eyes. Can I go? Can I? Can I? Can I go? This is a puzzle, but. Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, excuse me, I'm tired. <laughs> Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. And please excuse me, my voice isn't projecting as it should be. I've had a little throat thing going on for since Friday, so, you know, I don't know what time you'll be seeing this recording, but it was last week. So let's say I had a throat thing for a week, and my throat is killing me. You have, you have done excellent, excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like this I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Oh my god. Forgive me for this. No. Why leave me? Oh my god. This is the worst thing ever. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I one foot in front of the other? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? It's a long ass hall. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, she scared me. I thought she left me forever. Oh my god, thank you. Greeting, greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. She had my heart racing. Oh my god, I thought she left me and I was going to be here by myself and it, it, it was going to be bad. I would have died. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Oh my god, it was right there, the only thing that's in the room. How did I not see that? Thank you for trusting me. However, there's an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Every kid needs a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? She told me to stay in her room, but. Hello, this is Torio. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Alrighty. Rabbit, rabbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Always use mercy. Always mercy kill those motherfuckers. Kill them! To the beg them for mercy. Excuse me. Don't, don't kill anybody, please. Don't, don't, don't kill them. I mean, t tomato, tomato, potato, potato, you do whatever you want. It's your walkthrough, your playthrough. If you want to play this game and you want to mercilessly kill all the monsters you see, so be it. But you, you know, things happen at the end. It says take one. Take a piece of candy. You took a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. And see, into the menu. And there goes my monster candy. Okay, anyway, let's go. I guess something was attacking me, but then. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell. Yes. I had a feeling when humans fall down here, strangely, I often feel like I already know them. Is it because I reset the game? God damn it. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. You're welcome to my selection. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. I would actually turn my nose up if I found cinnamon... If I found cinnamon on my plate... And I know it was there... I'd be like... What is this? What what is this? I don't like cinnamon. You know I don't like cinnamon. Why would you do this to me? Dude, frog it, hop close. Let's act towards the frog. And let's talk about this one over there again. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but it was flattered anyway. Flush it deeply, ribbit. Oh, yeah. oh my god. He seemed reluctant to fight me, so let's mercy him. Oh, we spared him. Okay, we got two go. Ring. Hello? You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. And I forget this puzzle, so we're just gonna fall down. Oh my god. I almost had it. Okay, I went too far. I can already 
spared a little guy. Meow. You are intimidated by a frog. The frog is strong, strength. Only kidding. Huh. I'd be reluctant to fight me as well. Okay, let's see. Let's try to do Crying dummy. Okay. A pair of frog is hot towards you. Frog at A. That's tough of him. You don't understand what I said, but he'll flatter it anyway. This is fine. What the heck is that? Snowflakes? Pop pop. The metaphor is filled with a smell of mustard seed. said you could push me around. Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Uh, could you move a little more? Hmm? I'm gonna move some more. Alrighty, how's this? Dude, now, dude, hmm? That was the wrong direction. Hmm, okay, I think I got it. Perfect. Hey there, you're giving me a real workout, buddy. Thank you, Rock. Now you may move. Ooh, Knowing the mouse might one day leave its home and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. And this is actually where I'm going to leave it all at because I had to get ready for work and get the fuck out of here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you uh, like an Undertale so far. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen game uh, playthroughs or you played the game yourself already. But if you haven't, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. <laughs>